All right, hi guys, uh, this is Andy here from uh, Rico Magic UK, cloudstow.com. Um, today, we're basically, I just want to show you something cool that we've been working on. Um, it's basically our work to really achieve uh, <coughs> a fully contained SDR receiver um, using a miniature ARM PC um, running Linux, GNU Radio and GQRX. Now, this is our little, um, our little box of tricks, which is basically um, a ARM based mini Linux PC, a bit like the Raspberry Pi, but it's in a box um, and it basically, uh, you know, is, is many, many, many times more powerful. This is almost as powerful as, as um, you know, an Intel based um, miniature PC. Difference is it runs on much less power, it's much cheaper, um, and, you know, it's a more modern embedded way of doing it. This box comes with two, gigas, um, two gigabytes of RAM, it's got 16 gigabytes of storage on, um, it's got SD slot, USB ports, four to be precise. Um, as you can see, uh, one of them has got our um, RTL uh, <coughs> SDR dongle in there. Standard thing. Um, and you've got HDMI power. There's also RJ45 Ethernet around the back there as well. Um, your audio comes out via HDMI lead, much like um, some of the other, other sort of um, boxes out there, or, or boards, shall I say. Um, particularly the Beaglebone Black, which is one of the things that's inspired us to, um, you know, uh, you know, start start doing this kind of thing. In particular, KD Zero CQ's image, which um, allows you to uh, run um, GNU Radio and um, GQRX and some of the other software, um, all albeit at, at kind of much less performance. But um, that's another thing. So. Basically, it works. It's running um, GNU Radio, GQRX, and you can see here, you know, we've got a live waterfall display, um, which is showing um, the two meter amateur band. And, you know, if we get our radio here, um, we can basically just, you know, key up quickly, and you can see many harmonics on there. Um, but it just gives you an idea of, um, of basically what, uh, what, what, it's, what it's doing. So what I'm going to do is, um, we haven't got any audio on this monitor, but I'm going to put, pump it through to the computer um, and do a little demonstration of, um, of how it all works. And um, you can hear, you know, that, that it's actually, it's, it's very usable. Um, you know, we've been using this and testing this uh, quite a lot. We've got this right now hooked up to a, a collinear antenna, which is in the, in the loft for two meters. And we can pretty much um, receive everything that we could on, you know, like your professional um, amateur and commercial based um, receivers. Uh, it'd be great to sort of get um, some of the other uh, decoding modes working like um, DSD maybe to decode um, DMR digital modes. But this shows the start of, uh, you know, of, of the work in progress, which is basically to get a self-contained SDR, um, you know, receiver and computer all in one box ready to go. And we'll probably be, um, you know, looking at getting these uh, on our website soon, uh, maybe like a package deal or something. But the computer itself is available now. Um, you know, this is a very, very powerful kind of development based um, machine and you can do all sorts of stuff with it. See the sort of power, we've got full audio decoding on there. CPU is well under 50% on that on that little graph there. So anyway, we'll go into, um, we'll, we'll delve into the actual uh, workings of the of the uh, of the device and um, I'll, I'll fix it up to the computer. Mike six Juliet Kilo Alpha testing.
Is that under the new legislation? Yeah, it's, it's government legislation that's come in across the country, obviously, and this is our own response to it in tendering. Um, and the idea is that the leg legislation has clarified and simplified um, the way these um, issues can be dealt with. Okay, and so in, can be in dealt a, with more quickly. In a nutshell, then, what what is the difference then for a victim of antisocial behaviour? What will the new legislation mean for them? Okay, in the past there were ninety. <laughs> Yeah. 
the, the power up, it was a good signal. I was getting about an S7, S8 signal, but now it's down to about S3 at best.